The third annual International Chamber of Commerce Sri Lanka Arbitration Conference took place in Colombo. Additional Solicitor General President's Council Vikum Diabru stressed it is important for the country to have the necessary infrastructure to face the rising maritime disputes. Maritime trade generates a considerable amount of foreign revenue to Sri Lanka. Over 3,600 ship arrivals were recorded in 2021 to the main seaport in Sri Lanka, the port of Kalanka. With the increased number of ship arrivals, it is inevitable that disputes related to financing, cargo, freight, crew wages, etc. would also increase. It is imperative to have the necessary legal infrastructure to resolve disputes efficiently. Such a legal system would undoubtedly help Sri Lanka with reaching the goal of being the main shipping hub port in Southeast Asia. The first uniform set of laws on aristocracy was set up in 1950. It was revised in 1990. Sri Lanka is neither a party to the 1952 nor the 1999 Convention on Aristocracy. Does Sri Lanka know? permit the arrest of a ship only for the purpose of security, for arbitral or judicial proceedings within or outside. In Sri Lanka, the judges are not entitled to change the law. I am not entitled to change the law. The structural changes to the law should be done by the legislature. Therefore, necessary legislations to reflect the development of the law should be introduced very early to make Sri Lanka as an attractive way for ship pairs. The ICC Sri Lanka Arbitration Conference organized by the International Chamber of Commerce was attended by legal professionals, arbitrators and dispute resolution enthusiasts. Why ICC and why would you choose ICC? First and foremost, it is the International Chamber of Commerce. It is not a centre which is linked to a country. So it is neutral, it is international. Many governments and many state-owned entities perceive the ICC to be international. You can have an ICC arbitration in Sri Lanka, you can have it in Colombo, you can have it in Singapore, you can have it in London, Paris, wherever you want. The rules of the ICC do not prescribe that you must have your arbitration. When I say scrutiny, I do not mean that the ICC is interfering with the arbitral tribunal's decision to come to a decision. So if the tribunal is held, that company A should be held liable to pay damages to company B. The ICC will not step in and say, sorry, you got it wrong, it should be company B. That is not the job of the ICC. But the ICC will step in and say that you got your calculation wrong, or you might want to provide more easily, or this is against the public policy of Sri Lanka, and this will perhaps not be enforceable in Sri Lanka. While the name of the ICC is the International Court, it is not a court per se. It is an independent body comprising of 195 members, court members from across the world. President's Council Dr. Harsha Cabral addressed several concerns on the arbitration law and practice. Now there are a few tinkering measures to be done to our back. Now it's quite old from 1995, it's quite a long time. It's almost 28 years. But it's not the wrong of the statute itself, but the players. We, the lawyers and the retired judges, with all due respect to the judges who are here, that has been the stumbling block for any development in arbitration. We do our arbitrations in the evening, because in the mornings lawyers can't sacrifice their practice. Arbitrators have lack control in Sri Lanka. I'm very bold to say that. Arbitrators feel that they are under obligation to the lawyer who is appearing to get the next arbitration. Without a culture change, without fixing all these problems, amending the act or any little things won't help. The mind change of the arbitrators, the practicing lawyers and any, who, any stakeholder who comes into arbitration is essential. 